What's going on YouTube? So it's Martin from Thrift Store Gold. Gold back at you with another video, a bins video, a haul video. So we're gonna be going in doing our usual montage. We're at our bins. We drove an hour and a half to get here. It's so worth it. If you have a bins, Check within two hours I would say would be the farthest we would drive. Yeah. You gotta go and check it out at least once because we were so hesitant to go and then when we went we haven't missed a week since. <laughs> so definitely check out your bins if you're into that kind of sourcing but yeah we're gonna get right in there and film a little montage and then show you guys the haul that we get. found Bert's cousin <laughs> <laughs> holy crap oh sorry just smacked her in the face with it no, we're gonna have to clean him up pump him up but Bert's cousin <laughs> oh okay we're getting out of here I only like, got start. one bag. <laughs> she started the camera early. I got a bunch of bags. <laughs> and I got Bert's cousin. We what should we name film. him? We should name him Moo Moo. We'll ask you guys, but we did not film anything in there just because it was so crazy. Ooh, so we're so going to head home and just show you guys the haul. We did meet somebody in there. I didn't catch her name, but she said she watched us and that she lived in Buffalo as well. The cashier lady goes, I know you from your video vlogs. Oh no. <laughs> All right, well, let's get a thumbnail quick. Get the goodwill. Hey, alright. <laughs> Let's open up this trunk and get home. You can stop going. Yep. Oh. We're back. So we're gonna change and organize this a little bit and break into this hall. Now that we got, well it's a couple days now, but <laughs> we're situated, we're gonna show you guys our Christmas tree as we show you our haul. So I don't know if you're in the festive mood or not, or when you're watching this, it could be months after the holidays, but we're getting prepared, it's almost Thanksgiving. We're kinda weird, we put our tree up before Thanksgiving, so you can comment down below if you do the same as well or Split not. Split 50-50. Split 50-50 maybe. <laughs> but let's get into this haul that you guys have yes. been waiting for. I'm sorry guys, but I didn't film much at in the hall at in all the because there was a lot, yeah, in the bins because there was a lot of people there and there was a lot of like kids there and stuff and I just, sometimes it's just keep the camera down, you know, yeah. like there's, a, there's limits with the camera and I never try to push my limits, like, well, I do push my limits and I know that was a point where I should not <laughs> film, you know, like yeah. I, so there's times where you should just be smart with it if you are a filmmaker. Yes. But anyways, let's get right into this haul. First things, I'm just going to go over the four small plush that we have. We also have shoes. I don't know where they are, to be honest. We found a bunch of shoes, but we no, probably already... we only found three pairs of shoes, so Oh yeah, some that Nikes. Many. Well, okay, we have a haul that we went over in a live stream. I will link it down below. You can see the three pairs of shoes that we got there. There but... you go. Alright, so we got three pairs of shoes, and then we got four stuffed animals. First things first, we got this little dog. It barks and wags its tail, don't and I'm not going to turn it on for you guys because it's absolutely terrible. Hold on, I'll try it. It's from, it's called The Dog. If you guys remember, it was that big head thing, you know, like where the dogs would be like up close, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so this is from 2003, still works, really cute. And then these next two things were, oops, Fisher Price, like, laugh and learn toys. Um, they both still work. I turn them off because they drive me absolutely crazy. Like, they're so touchy. But this one actually is a little bit older and was made in East Aurora, New York. Oh, nice. This one was made in China. <laughs> and then finally, for our little plush, we got like a little devil tigger. So, <laughs> he's cute. 
Colin. He's like a Halloween character. Yeah, he's a Show Halloween. Show the Halloween basket. I will. Hold on. Right. And a little Halloween basket. Super cute. It's actually from the year 2000. I noticed that afterwards that it's on its foot that it says 2000. So it's kind of cool. I don't think that's focusing. But uh, it, was, it was looking good. Right. <laughs> Anyways. And then on to this big stack of clothing. Ooh, you that you guys really somewhat saw. Half of me. Did you guys like? I put a little montage before, since there wasn't any montage of like the. Art. I put a little montage of our haul because there was no footage in the thrift store. So. Yes. So it's just a little clip of our clothes. Yeah, it, really, it literally was. <laughs> uh, but anyways, first things first. Uh, they're kind of all out of order, but I'll let you know if it's listed or not. I guess. This is a Simply Vera Vera Wang top, long sleeve, has pretty floral like patterns to it, so I'm excited to sell this one. That one's pretty nice, I don't know. I know nothing about women's clothing, so <laughs> hopefully you guys can learn something from Christina. That's actually a brand that we're trying out. Um, I see it so much at the thrift stores, I don't know if it's really worth too much, because Vera Wang is an expensive, like, um, designer, but I don't know about Simply Vera. I mm. think that might be sold at Kohl's. <laughs> Regardless, this is our first maternity shirt, so another thing we're testing out. But it's Wish actually, us luck. I know it's a really oh, what nice. What the heck just happened to the? Never mind, you're good. Okay, it's a really nice condition, um, but it's super cute. I feel like any like pregnant woman would want this. It's just cute. I don't know. If I was focus pregnant, just I went out of focus. Uh oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the lights probably. Yeah. But next thing we found was a pair of embroidered champion sweatpants, gray. Very nice. We always pick up champion. Always pick up champion. At least embroidered champion stuff is what we like to For the cheap. Try. If yes. you can get it cheap. Don't buy it for like five bucks, but if you can get it for under two dollars. It's worth it for us. It's worth it for us. It's quick sales. Yes. And then next thing we found was a pair of Levi's. I think they're women's shorts, but the style 550. Um, they have no size. so Probably women's. Then. Probably There's women's. There's a stain then. though, like a paint stain. Oh no! Did we just see that? Or I think we... we saw that on the live stream. Uh, yeah, kind of. Dang. That's okay. Next thing we found um, was this Nike women's athletic shirt. So it has an, a cool tag to it. So I'm going to show you guys this one. But it's just like a this gray embroidered tag. So we've actually never seen that before. I can get it to focus. All right, there we go. We've never, or not embroidered, vinyl tag. Uh, we've never seen, and then right on the back of it, there's like an embroidered vinyl. Uh, wow. Oh, nice <laughs> an embroidered Nike swoosh. So we're excited to sell that. Next, Martin picked this up. The Godfather. This is a good one. <laughs> uh, but just like a graphic print t-shirt. Is it Heinz? It's for the loom. Even Heinz. better. Heinz is ketchup. Haynes, I guess I'm thinking. Well, oh, what's this? Haynes. Haynes. I'm th <laughs> All right. That's okay. We digress. <laughs> then we found a Kentucky Wildcats T-shirt. Um, I don't know if it's anything special because it has that Coca-Cola logo on the logo on the back. So I'm pretty sure it's one they shoot out of like those shirt cannons, you know. But hey. Still a cool if shirt. If you're a fan of both, that's the best of both worlds. Exactly. But what if you like Pepsi and then the Kentucky? Then you just don't get the shirt. <laughs> but you really like the shirt. <laughs> Anyways, next thing that we found was this Maurice's um, like cardigan cover-up kind of deal. It's really long. Okay. Uh, but it's super cool. It's actually split in the front, so it has like a little bit more room movement to it. Move whatever um but yeah so that's actually another brand that we're testing out this week as well uh because we see maurice's do at least i've seen maurice's do well and sell on like platforms like mercado or wow platforms like poshmark um so i wanted to test it out and we see it sometimes at the bin so i was lucky enough to actually find two things so this next thing was another maurice's shirt um it's just simple it just says usa on it but it's a, like one of those ringer t-shirts so it's pretty cute i okay. think it'll hopefully sell well and then next, Martin picked this up for me, but it's a little tiny. Too small. It's a kid's extra large. It was sparkly, that's why I got it it's for a, her. Yeah, it's a sparkly Buffalo Bill shirt, so it's really cute. Uh, but unfortunately, it will be too small for me. Is it not even that sparkly? Oh, it is sparkly. It, I know, after I was looking, I was like, it's really not. It's very dull. <laughs> then next thing, this brand, I think I was saying in the live stream, could be good. It's not. This dress, this dress is worth like 
five dollars maybe oh, no. so on ebay at least we'll see on poshmark if we get, can get something more for it because it's like a simple like dress that i feel like people look for but there's not even a size tag on it so who knows we'll see <laughs> Um, next, Martin actually found this, so you can explain this if you'd like. Uh, this was a Mickey Mouse t-shirt <laughs> with like, it was very like weird though, because it's got like a white sleeve on the inside. It's like double layered. Yeah, and then like the neck as well, but there's not actually a double layer because like the whole shirt is just one. It's just one. one. It's so black. Crazy. But it's really cool. It's from the Disney store. Definitely an old tag, so we picked it up. It's probably considered a ringer tee also because it has like an so. offset, but it's cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Martin also picked this up for me, but it's a little odd. She's not gonna keep it. Nah, just, it's Marvel, it's, so it's Marvel, but it's like it totally looks like a boy shirt, but it's sparkly, so it like can't be a boy it's shirt. It's hard to pass Marvel. But like, I just I don't know. this next one I found. Christina actually gave me the okay. I was not expecting to pick this up, but well, okay. Someone who likes this stuff will like this. And it's actually Sesame Street. Like, it's got the that, yeah. uh, vinyl tags, so. Yeah, that is also, I wasn't, like, one of those, like, made shirts, you know, you see at, like, t-shirt shops or something. Like, it was legit from Sesame Street, so I was like, okay, like, somebody will want that. Plus, Rasta, that's the yeah, red. Yeah, I feel like. Red, yellow, and green, like, that color combination will, like, sell no matter what. Yeah. Oh, sorry, what were you going to say? No, I just, I was going to say, like, the same thing. I feel like it would just be a good sale because of mm. the colors. And Cookie Monster. People love Cookie, Cookie Monster. Monster. And the joke munchies. <laughs> Anyways, next thing we found was this Max Studio. So I've never heard of this brand before either, but I really like this shirt. Uh, I wasn't going to pick it up for me, but just to, like, resell, I thought it was really cute. Like, stuff just like this sells. But it's one of those high-low button-up women's shirts, so that'll always sell nice for, like, work clothes. And then these two things I found, or did you find one? I found one. There's some Boston Red Sox shirts. Martin actually has a player on the back. It's so mine is... Ped Pedroya, I believe. Pedroya. Um, we were informed on the live stream, but... Yes, but I forgot his name. But then mine is just like a vinyl Boston Red Sox uh, long sleeve. So I probably will lock these. Got, I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, it's got the Red, Red Sox. Sox on the sleeve, so that's cool. Uh, but I'll probably lot them together because, I mean... Why not? Why not? They're the same size, too. So. Oh, that's cool. Martin found this one. I found this Joker shirt that she okayed because the Joker just came out. The that new movie. new movie, so I feel so, like somebody will want it. It's like a weird Joker graphic, but somebody that's a fan of, like, the... Just the new Joker and the past Joker will get, like, a nostalgic feeling. What, do you see the date? Guys! Or maybe not guys, this is Jokey. It's a mix between Loki and the Joker. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's I was crazy. like, it says jokey, jokey. We didn't even notice, but it's between Loki and Joker. Wow, that's kind of cool. That's really crazy. Maybe I want this now. I know, I was I'm going to say, going to want this now. I'm a fan of this now. <laughs> or honestly, the Jokey could be somebody, so I'm sorry if no, it that's is. Totally but Loki. it totally is Loki and the Joker. Like, All right, this is declared my shirt now. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said anything. I literally, it, uh, whatever. Next thing, <laughs> next thing we found was this women's Under Armour, like, uh, sleeveless workout shirt. I'm pretty sure it's golf. Could be tennis. I don't know. but Probably it's, tennis. That's what I thought, too. But I couldn't running. find anything. Yeah, running, maybe. Regardless, this one's listed. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention what's listed or not. All the women's clothes are listed right now. <laughs> <laughs> Men's are not. Uh, but next thing I found was this women's Kelvin Klein. You can like, just look through our eBay store to find yes. what's listed or not. Links down below. Uh, actually, unless they check like before the videos, well, never mind. They wouldn't know because the mind. video's not out before they Anyways, see it. Anyways, <laughs> I found this Kelvin Klein pullover. I actually was like, wow, I really want this for myself, but it's a 1X, so it's a little too big, and I know it'll definitely sell for a good, a good price, so I'm sending it. This I'm pretty excited for. I don't know if it'll do too well or for big bucks, but no. I think it'll definitely be a, a good sale. Definitely once March Madness comes by, if we still have it, I will let you guys know. <laughs> but this is just the... Uh, the road to the final four, Syracuse basketball. So I put it on my Instagram if you want to see a better shot of it. But yeah, it's just like, a, the there's tag actually, is kind of cool. Yeah, there's Roman numerals on the actual shirt too, which we figured out was 1994, but the tag is super It's like, TSI, I don't know, you guys can inform us more on what that is. If it's, it's like, so vibrant. Yeah, it's a cool tag, so <laughs> this was a cool shirt to find. 
Um, if it doesn't sell by March Madness, I will let you guys know. <laughs> I'm so convinced that it will sell before then. I hope. Isn't this? It's not single stitch. No. So just to show, not all vintage is single stitch. But anyways, last things, I found this fairway and green uh, quarter zip men's men's like pullover it's just a really nice like heavy duty uh pullover. stop moving i'm trying to get the tag <laughs> sorry that i think that people would like so pick that right. but yeah that was our haul minus three shoes <laughs> minus three shoes so thank you guys for watching we really appreciate every single one of you hope you guys had a great holidays or are gonna have a enjoy or hope you enjoy your holidays to come i'm always thinking about the rewatchers, so nobody that's watching live but i know Thank you everybody who's watching. It makes our dreams come true that we have subscribers, that we get views and all that. It makes our hearts just, warm. I don't even know. Yeah, warm. Grow big, like so, the Grinch. <laughs> this is a Christmas thank you. So thank you everybody for watching. Have a great day whenever you're watching. Crush that like button. Peace. Peace.